Hey guys, it's Bobby Rio from TSB Magazine and Make Small Talk Sexy. And I got a new video for you today. And the title of this video is Seven Emotional Mistakes Men Make with Women. Lately, I've really become intrigued by the idea of emotional intelligence and how it relates to success in business. But I've also noticed that it carries a lot of the same attributes in success with women, this idea of emotional intelligence. And emotional intelligence really refers to the ability to perceive, control, and evaluate emotions. And what's interesting is that, you know, most guys have heard that, you know, women are influenced by emotions and women act on emotions. But what you might not realize is that you might be unconsciously letting your emotions dictate how you act. And this could be crippling your chances with women. So uh, it's almost beginning to appear to me that emotional intelligence ranks right up there with social intelligence for succeeding in all aspects of life, particularly in your quest to date beautiful women. So let's talk about the seven emotional mistakes that men make picking up women. So the first mistake is liking a girl too soon. Now, we've all done it. We notice a, a really cute girl across the bar or in a class with us or maybe she works with us. And based solely on her looks and gestures, we make the decision that she's the one. Without even speaking a word to her, we've already grown sort of an emotional attachment to her. And because of this, approaching her becomes a hundred times more difficult. We now feel it necessary to come up with the perfect opener or have something brilliantly clever to talk about. This is a huge mistake. Never start liking a woman until you've engaged in a conversation with her and you feel some sense of connection with her. Falling for a woman based solely on her looks or, or how you in your mind imagine her to be is extremely beta and it puts you in uh, immediately in a role of like the pursuer. Um, you're putting her on a pedestal and she can smell this instantly and your chances of success from that point on are slim to none. <clears throat> Mistake number two is sticking to a dead end opener. Now I remember after I watched the episode of Keys to the VIP that was floating around a few years ago starring Cajun, a, a pickup artist, and I became obsessed with using the do I look like a drug dealer opener that he used in that video. The thing was, I never had any success with the opener. Um, I thought it sounded really cool when he used it and he looked like he got success with it. So I was like determined to use that opener. And it would usually just fall flat and very rarely lead to an engaging conversation. But I kept using it because I thought it sounded cool or because I, you know, I, I liked the way it sounded when he used it. When it comes to success, what you'll often find is that what you personally like is very seldom what works. Just because you think an opener or a joke is extremely clever or cool doesn't mean that the woman will. It's best to go out there and test out different lines and stick with the ones that get the best results. Mistake number three is going out with that feeling of hunger. Now, we all go through droughts. Uh, droughts are those seemingly endless periods where things just aren't happening. During these streaks, nothing seems to go right. And very often, our hunger to break out of the drought is often the reason we continue to fail. The best thing to do during a cold streak is to simply take a week or two off from going out. Just put your mind into something else, you know. Start a project, um, learn something, read a book. Just get your mind off of this necessity to sort of validate yourself around women and, and kind of boost your ego back up. A uh, sure it seems like counterproductive thing to do, but trust me, you'll feel mentally and emotionally rejuvenated by getting away from the game for a while. Women can smell this hunger, and all but the most desperate of women will avoid a man who is noticeably hungry. Uh, back in college, you know, we used to joke and, and we, we would say, like, you're looking hungry tonight to our, you know, each other. And if we were, we knew, like, hey, snap out of it and just concentrate on having fun and forget about going after girls. Because you don't want to be that guy standing there with the eye of the rapist that all the women are scared of because you just seem so desperate. Mistake number four is becoming addicted to the approval you're getting. 
I see this happening all the time with guys. They approach a group of women and they instantly create rapport with the women. They're usually talking about safe topics and are generally engaging in sort of a PG conversation that the women see as harmless. The women will seem to generally like the company of men and then the men become addicted to this approval and and you don't want to risk offending the woman by escalating or introducing anything sexual into the conversation. For some reason, as men, we tend to think that women will be offended if we display our true intentions when, in fact, they respect you a lot more. Women know exactly what you want, and you're not going to get anywhere if you talk about puppy dogs and ice cream all night. Mistake number five is reverting to your comfort zone conversation. Um, This is a big thing that I talk about in my program, Conversation Escalation, is everything to say to get away from this because we all have our comfort zones in life. These are the emotionally safe areas for us. But the problem with comfort zones is that you can't grow if you're stuck in your comfort zone. And this tends to happen to us a lot when we're out hitting on women. They may start uh, conversations with a good opener. Maybe you go and you bust out some cocky, funny lines. But soon enough, you revert back to interview mode. And you do this because interview mode is comfortable for you. It's like comfort food. It's safe and it makes us feel good and because we've been there before. But the problem is, just like comfort food, comfortable conversation seldom sparks attraction. Um, If you're more interested in this, I highly recommend checking out my program, Conversation Escalation. But let's talk about uh, number six. Number six is becoming emotionally attached to the outcome. Now, I wrote in a post a while back called Let Your Winners Ride, which spoke about how we tend to end the good interactions too soon and stick around too long in a dead-end interaction. This happens because we become emotionally attached to the outcome. When an interaction is going good, we start feeling positive emotions, and we don't want to lose them. So a lot of times we'll just eject too early from a good set just to keep that positive feeling. And often when a set's going bad, we begin to feel negative emotions and we make the mistake of wanting to get you know, rid ourselves of the negative emotions so badly that we stick in the set hoping that we can change it. The trick is to completely take your emotions out of a pickup. Don't let yourself feel good or bad based on how an interaction is going. Just simply interact. If you're having fun, stick around. If you're growing bored, leave. It's as simple as that. So number seven, the last mistake is thinking that this girl is different. And if you claim that you're not guilty of this, you're lying to me and you're lying to yourself. This is one of the biggest mistakes men make when they're learning the game. They learn all the right techniques. They learn the strategies. They learn the mindsets and the behaviors, but they don't use them. And the main reason we don't use them in field is because we start thinking this girl is different. And our emotions convince us that the game won't work on her. And we start thinking, I just need to be myself. Here's the thing. Very few girls are different. 99.9% of women respond to the same attraction triggers. It doesn't matter if they're white, black, Asian, Spanish, 19, or 50. Attraction isn't a choice, as David D. says. And all women will respond to the same thing. So next time you find yourself thinking, I can't be cocky or funny or I can't, you know, get sexual with her, simply ask yourself, is she a woman? If the answer is yes, then proceed as planned. I'd like to invite you to learn more from TSB Magazine, the leading men's lifestyle and dating advice site. Here's three ways you can do it. First, subscribe to our videos. Every week, we release brand new informative videos helping you achieve all your dating goals. Second, head over to our Facebook page and grab your dating cheat sheet at facebook.com forward slash TSB magazine. And finally, read our latest in-depth articles over at the main site, tsbmag.com, and come back and watch more of our videos.